All right, everybody, welcome to another episode of Man on Bourbon, man. I'm your host, Cam. And tonight, we got a beautiful bottle, man, that we're going to bring to y'all, man. It's been all the hype, man, for about the past 12 years. If you don't know nothing about it, man, you're about to learn about it tonight, man. It's the Discovery Series 12, coming out of Barstown, Kentucky. Barstown, man, look here. Throughout the years, they've been doing their thing going all over the regions of the United States of America, even in Canada. I mean, they've been, what, Indiana, Tennessee, Kentucky, Ontario, Canada, that is. They bring you everything from, what, from one to, I think the oldest I've seen in a bottle is 14, 15 years old. Master blenders, man, going to all those different regions of the country, man, bringing you the best whiskeys that they can find and putting it together in these bottles. Okay, that's the, the Discovery Series, man. Like I said, man, I, I found out about the Discovery Series, man, in my bourbon travels maybe, uh, I want to say maybe six years ago. And I know I, uh, I have quite a few over there. I don't have them all. I don't have the whole complete set. But... I have quite a few. Barstown, I mean, they make great whiskey over there in Barstown. I love it. I mean, they have the Discovery Series. They also have a Fusion Series. They have the Chateau de La Bode, La Bod, La Bode. I mean, you know, hit me off in the, the comment box. Let me know if I'm pronouncing it right. Chateau, Chateau de La Bode, La Bod. But that's a hitter. That's a banger. A little pricey in the pocket, but that's a banger. You know, like I said, then they have the Fusion Series to where uh, they have uh, all the collaborators as far as the in-house, as far as the uh, master blenders, the uh, chefs, the, uh, the confectionery team. The confectionery team, damn it. I know it was something, yeah. But they all get together and they do the, uh, the Fusion Series. You know, so to, well, that's, a, that's a very good one, you know, because this Discovery Series right here, this is a very pricey bottle. But then, like I said, that they get together in-house, do the Fusion. The Fusion Series is like about $60, $70, man, if you don't want to jump off the tree and get this $150 bottle, get the Fusion. So, boom, back off into this Discovery Series. Now, last year, the Fusion Series 11 had the world in an uproar. I mean, everybody was going crazy about the 11. They were saying they were, everybody was trying to compare it to, oh, hold up, Stella Boys. Everybody was comparing the 11 to the 4. You know, so um, last year I was, wasn't able to get my hands on the 11, I ain't gonna even lie to you. There was a whole bunch of shit popping last year, so... When I found out I was gonna get me a 12, I did me a little wheeling and dealing this year. And I was able to get me an 11, so. <laughs> so tonight, you know what I'm saying? We are gonna be able to compare the 12 up against this 11, you know what I mean? But tonight, like I said, so we gonna feature, we gonna feature this 12. They like master blenders over there. <clears throat> Tonight, we have four different mash bills that are all of them are high in corn. All of them, even the 11, high in corn. Very, very high in corn. This one is coming in at 115.2 proof. So you might want to get you some water. I use Stella. Price point in this bottle is 139.9. 139 point 139.99. 
Round it off, man. $140 plus tax. Now, again, as I say, they are very, very transparent about any and everything that they put in the box. So, as you can see, this year's batch. 48% of a 14-year-old Kentucky whiskey. 29% of a 10-year-old Kentucky whiskey. 15% of a 10-year-old Kentucky whiskey. And 8% of a four-strand Bardstown whiskey. Now, see, that's where they're going to throw us for a loop at. That four strand. Now, when I say four strand, that means they're giving us, uh, basically, they're giving us four grains. They're giving us the corn, the rye, the wheat, and malted barley. That's the four. Okay, so they, they threw the wheat in there, you know, to give it a little extra, uh, look. Yeah, you know I mean, let's go on and uh, delve off into this, man. Cause I think this right here, man, this is gonna be something more complex than what we think it is. Because this, again, as I said, it's a whole bunch of corn, a lot of corn jumping off in this you got 75 percent corn 78 78 and then a 60 percent corn so it's very corny pardon the pun but a lot of corn is going off into this bottle right here man let's go Let's get us a nice little pour Oh yeah, no. A lot of people are probably gonna be like, man, why you ain't pouring you a hefty pour? No, no. Cause the Disco 12, they only made a certain amount of bottles of this, man. They ain't like like the 11, hella bottles. This 12, limited amount of bottles this year. So if you got you one, you lucky. So we ain't about to sit here and treat this like it's a $2 hoe, okay? We not finna do that. Legs. Legs are very thick. Very thick. Taking this time coming down the glass, we like that. We like that a lot. We like that. Right, the nose is very crisp, very clean note. Like a crisp red apple. Like in the spring. I mean, very, very springy. Cinnamon. Vanilla. I'm not getting that caramel note though that I'm you know I'm most most bourbons you're getting that, that caramel note but but again this is not a bourbon this is a blended whiskey so you got to keep that in mind too this is a blended whiskey so always keep that in mind all right let's go in for you know a little taste to see what we got cheers y'all Okay, now immediately. It's like bursting with flavor. 
that crisp, crisp apple that I was talking about, but it burst into like a, a red, green, just bow. It's like a starburst of flavors. I mean, the mouthfeel on this is just ridiculous. I mean, it coats your mouth with a whole, just like a sensation of just za. Shit. Woo! I mean, it's rich, it's crisp, it's clean, but it has a lot of za. Oh my God, yes, this is, hmm. This is, this is very, very nice, y'all. It's crisp, it's clean. It's got a lot of pizzazz going on to it, to me. Now, I'm gonna give you a, a true, a, a true, a true bourbon enthusiast opinion. Hints of vanilla, caramel, like a sugar cane. Uh, leather on the finish. I'm getting some type of uh, uh, a spice, but it's not like a ginger. But it's 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 very good. It's very good. I mean, you get you getting some type of uh, a masculinity on the end. It melts. I mean, it gets a little creamy. I mean, is it a bell ringer? I don't know. I mean, it's good, but we're gonna have to bring out, cause they said this one right here, and they got a purple label on it too. They said this one right here, man, was, they compared this one to uh, the number four. That number four they said was supposed to be that that thing. But we're gonna go on and see if number eleven is gonna knock number twelve out the park. Let's see. Let's see, y'all. Okay, peep this. This line right here that went across the glass, I mean, it was like a razor. Cut you razor sharp. This is cold. And the legs ain't even came down yet. And man, 11 ain't fucking around. Now they're starting to make their way down the glass. Hey man, hit that like and subscribe button, man. This shit great. Ooh. This one is a little perfumey. And I don't mean perfumey in a bad way. I mean this 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 got action. This got action. With lights and cameras even.
I'm excited. I mean, now see, this is what I'm talking about. This right here, this smell like some cookies that just came straight out the goddamn oven. Oh, wow. I'm talking about my grandma just made these joints. Oh, she, oh, shit. They just came out the oven. This is dope. And this might be what everybody was talking about. This is exactly what everybody can see. Yeah, 11 off the nose is killing 12 off the nose already. All right, let's go in for a tape. Okay, Pete. Now, I know that this one was 115 proof. This one 110 proof. Hey, man, listen here. For these to be some sucker-ass proofs, they coming in in the mouth hot, yo. I mean hot. Stella boy. Hey man, hit that like and subscribe button, yo. For real, man. Tell a friend, tell a friend, man. We almost, we on our way, man. By the end of the year, man. Please help your boy get to a thousand subscribers, man. I want to get that plaque, man. I want that plaque to be right here. I want it to be right here, man. And I want y'all to help me get to, you know, as soon as I get that, man, I'm to y'all. And every viewer I see, I'm going to have something for you. I bump into all y'all all the time. And I have something in my motherfucking picnic basket every time you see me. Come on, man. Help me get to a thousand. Help me get to a thousand. All right. Now. This 11. Very masculine. I mean, lip smacker. I ain't gonna even go all off into the, to the all, all the bullshit about the 11. I ain't, I mean, nose, awesome. All right, look. Oh. So creamy, so rich, thick, velvety. Everything that you want in a bourbon. This is your, your central quintal bourbon. Everything that you're looking for. I mean, it's everything. And I see why everybody was comparing this to the four. This is it. This is it. We ain't gonna be sitting here playing with you. Nobody gonna play with you. Too many bourbon channels for y'all to watch for somebody to be playing with you. Now, nah, if you want to spend $150, get you 11. The 12, I'm gonna be honest with you. Try it before you buy it. It's good. It's good. I drove all the way to Kentucky to get one. So it's good. It ain't better than that one though. All right, that's about it. I mean, there's nothing else to tell you. You know, they both coming in at $139.99 plus tax. If you got $130 to spend, if you know somebody, because this one right here is going to be hard to find if you don't know nobody. The secondary, they gonna go upside your head. They gonna be wanting probably about 350 to $400 for this bottle. Secondary, but it's $150, you know, at the start. Now, this one right now, 
$150 all the belt. Secondary, I'm, I think I've seen this one probably going for like $300. You might be able to get it a little under $300. You find you the right person. Secondary dudes, man. The bourbon prices is dropping. I'm gonna just let you know that too, man. Prices of bourbon, man, ain't like they, you know, that secondary shit, man, they killing that. The dudes, the, the people that, uh, in the distilleries, they say, look at here, man. We tired of them secondary folks, man. They getting all the money. So we gonna go and just shoot them in the foot right now. So that's why they've been killing us at the register. Yeah, these bottles ain't been no motherfucking joke. So. Ladies and gentlemen, always important. If you can't encourage anyone to drink bourbon, then you're discouraging them from the finer things in life. I'm your man, Cam. And on behalf of all the men on bourbon, you guys have a very prosperous week. And drop, drop me something off in the comment box. You know, let me know what bottle y'all might want me to review. Something that you're looking forward to. Until then, holla. Houston, we have a whole crop. Thank you.